Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the chain rule for integration. So the chain rule for integration and how it can also be applied to trig. Okay, so the chain rule for integration is that if you're going to integrate a function within a function, so this is our inside function and this is our outside function, then the rule dictates that you integrate the outside function. So I'm going to use capital F to denote the integral of the outside function. Do not change what's inside the brackets. And then divide by the derivative of what's inside the brackets. Now I do mean derivative, even though we're integrating, uh, you need to differentiate the uh, function inside and divide by it. And don't forget, plus c. So here is our chain rule for integration, and you will not be given this in the exam. You need to know it. <clears throat> okay, so a um, couple other bits of information. The integral of sine x dx is negative cos x, so it's the opposite of differentiation. And the integral of cos x, dx, don't forget the dx, is positive sine x. And in the higher exam, you're given these, so you don't need to remember them, which is pretty good. Okay, so a couple of examples. Let's pick, let's see, let's pick the integral of... I don't know, uh, 2 bracket x cubed plus 5 all to the power of 3. No, I've got 3 there. Let's pick a different Let's pick an 8 dx. Okay, so we're going to integrate this. So, the rule states that you add 1 to the power. So let's write down our equation as is. Add 1 to the power, so that becomes a 9, divide by the new power, like so. <clears throat> so you can see I've integrated the outside function, I've added 1 to the power, and divided by the new power. Then you also divide, just going looking back at this, you also divide by the derivative of what's inside the bracket. So I'm going to do exactly that. The derivative of this would be 3x squared plus 0. Don't forget the plus c, and we just tidy this up, and we're done. So that's going to be 27x squared, so it's going to be 2x cubed plus 5 to the power of 9 over 27x squared plus c. And obviously, if these two numbers could be simplified, I would. And that's it. Let me pick another one. Um, let's do... Let's pick a fractional one, shall we? Let's do 4 over the square root of 6x squared plus... No, let's make it a negative. Negative 5 dx. Okay, so <clears throat> currently this is not in a differentiable form. So what we need to do is, step one is rewrite it so we can differentiate it. So this thing, this entire thing is to the power of a half. If you remember from that five math, um, the square root can be rewritten as a power of a half. So power of a half, bring it up to the top, it becomes a power of a negative half. So it'll be four bracket 6x squared minus five to the negative a half. DX. Now, you can, if you want, take the 4 outside, and I generally do, but for the purposes of this video, just to keep things simple and to avoid more questions as to why would you take it out, I'm just going to leave it in. So, we follow our rules. We add 1 to the power uh, for the outside function and divide by the new power. So let's write down this because we're not changing it in any way. So you add 1 to the power, so negative a half becomes positive a half, divide by the new power, like so, and we also divide um, by the derivative of what's inside the brackets, which would be 12x, b 
because the derivative of 6x squared is 12x and the derivative of negative 5 is just 0, so we don't bother with that. Plus c, obviously, tidy this up. So a half of 12x is 6x, 4 over 6 can be simplified to 2 over 3, so it'll just be 2. This I'm going to change back into a square root, like so, over 3x plus c. So I actually skipped a step or two there, um, but hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, leave a comment down below and I'll explain this in more detail. Okay, let's pick one more using a trig, uh, trig function. Let's do the integral of cos uh, 3x. Simple as that. Now, in order to integrate this, there are no brackets, so we need to introduce an inside function and an outside function, so we need to introduce brackets. So, we're going to rewrite it as the integral of cos 3x dx. In other words, 3x has become our inside function and the cos is our outside function. Integrating this, it will be, um, integrate the outside, which becomes sine. Don't change what's inside the brackets. Now, I really should stress, no powers get added, no powers. There are no powers when you're dealing with a uh, trig, at least not in higher maths. There are techniques, so if it was cos squared or cos cubed or something to that effect, there are techniques to do that, but not in higher math. So I'm going to stick with uh, the higher math level, and in that level, um, we don't have any power. So what you would not do is add a power or anything. That would be incorrect. So once you've integrated the outside, you now need to divide by the derivative of what's inside the brackets, and the derivative of 3x is simply 3, don't forget the plus c, and this can be rewritten as a third sine 3x plus c, or sine 3x over 3, it doesn't matter. What you cannot do is cancel these two 3s out, that would be incorrect. And that's it. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please ask below, and if it was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.